and welcome back to this day 10 of the 12 days of Azure Stack Christmas with us, the Global Engineering Outreach Specialist team at Dell. And on this, the 10th day of Christmas, Azure Stack gave to me Azure PaaS services running within Azure Stack Hub. You always have to remember that Azure Stack Hub is designed to be the exception handler for Azure. It's for when you want to be able to use Azure, but for some reason you cannot. So you still want to be able to leverage the same powerful services that you can in public Azure within your own premises or at the edge with Azure Stack Hub. And we always have to remember as well that the higher up the value chain that you can go, the more time you can, do, you can spend delivering value to your business. Now this could be as simple as using infrastructure as code to manage the deployment of your workloads or leveraging the Azure Marketplace in Azure Stack Hub or enabling tenants to bring their own identity with Azure Active Directory or allowing full-blown self-service to your tenants with all the management and showback and chargeback that you'd expect just built in right out of the box. Another way that we can abstract you away from the VM and feature management is through platform as a service features, which really let you focus on what, what you want to achieve, not what you have to build to achieve it. Now, today in Azure Stack Hub, we have a number of resource providers available. We have one for SQL, we have one for MySQL, we have the Azure App Service, including Azure Functions, uh, we have Event Hubs, which is just gone generally available, woohoo! And we have IoT Hub in public preview, and very soon, full-blown AKS, Azure Kubernetes Service, in Azure Stack Hub as well, managed as a true platform as a service uh, offering there. To give an idea of some of the time and effort that you can save by running some of these PaaS services in Azure Stack Hub, let's consider the deployment procedure for event hubs within Azure Stack Hub. So your process for installing the event hubs resource provider is navigate to your Azure Stack Hub admin portal, then navigate to the marketplace tab, then to the resource providers tabs, then we select event hubs and click install. It'll walk you through a very short wizard where first of all you click install to install the prerequisites which it will do automatically for you. Then you upload a certificate uh, for securing the, the event hubs portal. Um, and then you click install and you wait. And that's it. Now in the background Azure Stack Hub is deploying a whole bunch of virtual machines and installing the event hubs workloads on there and setting it up to manage that resource provider and deliver the event hub service to you. But your entire uh, involvement in the process is a few clicks and uploading a certificate. Azure Stack Hub manages event hubs for you so that you don't have to. You don't have to concern yourself with how it works, you just have to concern yourself with how you want to use it. The process for keeping event hubs is updated is pretty similar. When an update is available, it will appear within your Azure Stack Hub admin portal, and then you just need to choose when to apply it. The how is managed for you, the when is chosen by you. Remember, Azure Stack Hub is not for people who want to build a cloud platform on premises, it's for people that want to use a cloud platform on premises. Platform as a service is one of the fundamental powers of cloud, and with Azure Stack Hub in your data center, that power is yours, built into the platform, and inherent to everything you do within Azure Stack Hub. Please do go to the links in the video description down below to learn more about bringing the power of PaaS on premises. And until tomorrow, from us in the Global Engineering Outreach Specialist team to you and your loved ones, thank you and goodbye for now.